Welcome to our 100 year old bathroom. It has been ruined many, many times and we're about to ruin it again. You'll see below the rug, the source for this renovation. The back side of the bathtub leaked last year and we only found out because the apartment downstairs was being renovated for a new tenant and they said, hey, you have a big leak. <laughs> so they came and fixed the leak, but under the tiles is all not good. So it all has to be ripped out. And unfortunately, we wanted to keep the wall tiles. There aren't any more, so we can't. So this room is being Gutted. Here in Milan, bathroom inspiration can be as limited as a one flavor gelato shop. It's all minimalist. If you love that, that's great for you. That's just not what we're looking for. Luckily, we happen to find exactly one shop that has vintage interiors, including bathrooms. I will link their information down below. The shop is called Raw. It's amazing. You should go. Don't miss upstairs where 75% of the good stuff is. I found the most inspiration right here in our very own building. The original detailing has such beauty. The colors, the finishes, the materials, the proportions, incredible. I also found great Pinterest inspiration. And then I went and made my own inspiration board. A hundred years ago, when this building was built, narrow and long bathrooms were the norm. They were never designed to have a big bulky vanity on one side. They were designed to be pretty much on one side. And if there was a sink on the other side, it was just a pedestal sink that wasn't this big. So you could easily maneuver your way across. Of course, there weren't washing machines. The bathtub, it's only 24 inches from out from the wall. It's very narrow. Um, and when you step into it, you have to step up into it and you're about two or three inches up off of the floor. So it's really not good for anyone with mobility issues. It's not very stable. And we don't need a bathtub in here. We're also moving the washing machine, the washer dryer to right here next to the door. So you can walk in and just do laundry immediately, take it out because space is at a premium. And no, there's not another place in the house to put the washer dryer. There's not a space in the kitchen for it or, or anywhere else. We have the beautiful old fashioned hardware in the bathtub. And yet we have very modern hardware on the faucet and on various fixtures in the bathroom. So nothing matches. This vanity, ultra modern, provides needed storage. It's up off the floor, okay. And it's very simple. However, it is the smallest standard that you can get to be sticking out of the wall. So we're having to go for something custom and vintage to gain some needed space here. We are using vintage wherever possible in this bathroom. So the vanity, the lights over the vanity, the new chandelier and the shelf, the train rack shelf that's going to go over the washer dryer. They're all vintage. This is the living room wall just next to the bathroom. Because of all the demolition, we've been told it's quite possible that this wall could be damaged. So we have to take down all the art, put it away for two, three months, however long it takes. We've been told that there's also a good chance that this kitchen wall will be damaged during the demolition. This is behind the bathroom sink, this wall. So everything here has to come out, all the dishes and glasses, all the spices, everything. When you're designing a bathroom plan in Italy, you have to take the needs of not only yourself, but your partner, the apartment owner, the needs of the building, and availability of materials all in mind and change as needed. 
Bring your flexibility and your patience. This is when we found the incredible table to use as our vanity. I still can't believe we found one the right size with such amazing details. It needs restoration and protection to last in our ultra humid bathroom. There's only one place to get that done, so let's take a road trip. Now it's opening. Now we're not trapped with the table. Now, right about now, surely you must be asking yourselves, why on earth would they drive over two hours to a restoration place? You live in Milan. There must be plenty of restorers in Milan. And you'd be right, there are plenty of restorers in Milan. But there are not restorers in Milan that have the triple specialty of the ones we're going to. We're going to Sarzana to Isopo at Parma. This company has been around for many, many years. And not only do they specialize in custom bathrooms and custom kitchens and woodworking in general, but critically, they also specialize in boat interiors. So they are really, really familiar with keeping wood dry and how to treat the wood to make sure it lasts. Let's go it's see open. Bede and Michele. We have lights. Excellent. Go get the table. Wow, this wood shop is amazing. Now we gotta get all of these out of here. Okay. Okay. D vite? Vite or no? No, no, so. Melio con vite. Perfect. Tell you that. Hey, what is that? Okay. Hmm. 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 Sì, a parete. Il lavabo ce l'hai? Uh, no, ma c'è c'è sì. Scheda tecnica. Sì. Sì, c'è. Sì. devi dire Carico e scarico dove sono nel, nel muro, a che altezza sono e dove sono? Non lo so. Ce lo mm. devi dire. Mm. Okay. 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 Dopo, dopo, sì, non lo so. Va bene, mm. sì. Sì. 
No. No, no, no. No. Sí, 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 sí. No. No. Sí, no. Lo scarico. Lo tende a caltezza. Trenta profondità. Ok. Sì, 60 per 30 è... È tutto it is all wrote. Sì, sì, sì. È tutto e... scritto, c'è cioè già e... tutto il disegno tecnico. E 10 kg. 10 kg è il peso. 10 kg. Lo trasporti in un altro sì. modo togliendo le gambe o anche a dito? No. Non si può fare? No, se cioè diventa un po' più stabile. Ah. Oh. No. Not stable enough to do screws? So, need another trip like that. So, abbiamo bisogno di fare un viaggio come quello che ho fatto. <laughs> oh boy. Difficile. No way. So no way to make this with screws because it won't be strong enough. It has to be like this. So when we pick it up, we'll have to drive that way. I'll squish in the car again. <laughs> These little details are amazing. Look at that. Mm. Ah, to, to, to attach, to attach the melio. That's better. Questo. So, questo per, andrà modificato. Per, per i tubi. Ho fatto finto. Ho lasciato, finto? Ho What's finto? Finto, fake. fake. No, no, melio. No, fake news. Fake news. <laughs> <laughs> no, fake news. <laughs> No, meglio. Sì, ridurre. Altezza. Inizio altezza. I don't think we know altezza. But we know, we know larghezza. Devi sapere l'altezza? L'altezza? Devi sapere l'altezza o la larghezza della, del tubo? Sì, così faccio un po' e c'è una capovola. Allora, la sede di una posizione che riesce a portare la vostra macchinetta, con i due, bagno, cama matrimoniale. Oggi una barca o no? Wow. Great stairs. That's fantastic. That's amazing. Love this showroom. They have so many cool nautical salvage things as well. It's great. We're going to have to come back a second time as soon as we get the sink and the drain pipe because they really need them in person. So we have to push the contractor to get them as soon as we can and we'll see how soon that can be. All right, I'm gonna take one, just one. Come on, <laughs> I got one. This is our second trip here and this is our third try at a sink. The first sink, unavailable even though we ordered it months ago. The second sink, different model, arrived broken, last of its kind. This is the third sink. It is taller and it's bigger from front to back. So I've had to redo the plans again. Let's hope it fits. Let's hope it doesn't get broken. Okay. Per il blocco e poi ci sarà lo scarico. Resumo. No, il rubinetto. No. No, lo... no scarico sifone. Okay, lo, lo scarico, sì. Ok, lo scarico. Sì. Lo scarico, qui c'è la ghiera. Perfetto. Bello questo scarico qua. Sì. Che macio. Sì. Eh, belli davvero. Che mobile lì. Eh, belli davvero. This renovation project has only just begun. Next time it's demo time. Let me know in the comments what questions you might have about renovating in Italy. Our playlist is right here with more small space decorating ideas. Thank you so much for joining us today.